Hi, Ron. Hi. I try and get this speech a bit like short. Short and full of shit. It's pretty nerve wracking being up here in front of 160 people. How many? So I've been corrected, 170. Fuck me, sh I hope it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, fucking on, is it? But Elms nine, I've got the support of Sean's other best man and our best friend Reese. <laughs> Will you stand up and say say, you little minch? <laughs> fucking bold job. <laughs> Would have asked him to do a bit about the uh, stag, but he slept through the whole thing. <laughs> From five five pm till nine am. Let me start by saying how amazing everyone looks today. Especially you, Anne Pierce. Oh, yeah. Steve, all I can say, you must be up. <laughs> to be fair, I won't tell me that anyway. But today is all about our best friend Sean Pike. Hope you make an absolute stunning bride and I'm sure the whole room agrees. It's no secret you've been through a lot over the past few years. And I'm not just talking about having a part with Sean. But you continue to amaze us all with your courage and determination. And I think you need a fair bit of that man this guy. You cursed us all with aubergine stir fry <laughs> for the rest of our lives. But we've had some great memories and you truly are a wonderful person. <laughs> I can't think of a better match for sure. I know how much he loves you despite you doing a fuck all around the house. <laughs> Sean once asked Hope to help out with a gardening. Before you could say shovel, she was on Billy Ricky's discussion page asking for recommendations. <laughs> Not that kind of shovel rock. <laughs> I heard that it wasn't said enough on the Hindu, so I just want to tell you how much of an inspiration you are. <laughs> and I know how happy Sean will be finally call you his wife. If anyone could please raise a glass and give it up for hope. <laughs> now for Sean. Right, Reese, this is your part, boy. Bat you It's gone from Billericay Town Streaker to Hope's Keeper. And from what we all saw, I can say she's definitely with you for your personality. If Sean goes missing tonight, you'll probably find him patrolling the perimeter of the venue. <laughs> Mushroom head, do you fuck? <laughs> My earliest memories of this strange boy is of him eating bugs and cutting off girls' ponytails. What he said, what he said earlier, was it? So watch out, ladies, you'll end up a girl like me. I don't want that. But fuck me, it's easy. Mayflower School somehow even got weirder, bringing in a three-man catapult, wiping out students left, right and centre. Obviously again, stung my fucking line, but more interested in him. Some days, he would turn up to school randomly dressed as a girl. It happened enough times and no one even questioned him. Fortunately for Hope, his skinny white legs and his big nose didn't quite do it for the boys. If you ever met Sean, you'll know that he went to uni and studied graphic design, where he played some drinking games and went to Reading Festival. And that pretty much sums up his time there. Graphic design worked for him, so he started his recruiting in London. It was shit at that, so he started his life as a roofer. And to be totally honest, he was shit at that as well. 
but we have good lives. Lives, I'm all right. Sean loves a drink, and you normally find him in the pubs of Ramsden, enjoying the Guinness or four. One summer's afternoon, many years ago, those skinny white legs, and the smell of his dad's Dunhill. for the attention of a young barmaid, Hope. Yeah. Oh. Fast forward 12 years, a geezer of a dog called Edison, a proposal in Bali and a hair transplant in LA. <laughs> we are all here today celebrating the weddings of these two hopeless romantics. Sean is one of the most powerful and strongest people I know. He never complains about anything apart from his lead prices. <laughs> Annoyingly, he doesn't seem to get a hangover. He even ran half a marathon of no sleep and 10 points for home. Pack it. <laughs> Join the club, yeah. Well, well, I want to fucking give it all. He honestly cares for and adores home so much. She would have stepped up to the plate along with her family and friends. <laughs> Together they have made such a challenging time look so easy. And they both always have a smile on their face, continue to crack top banter. This amongst other reasons is why I love them both so much. Now they are going to make the best husband and wife. We wish you a lifetime of love and happiness. And I speak on behalf of the room when I say we can't wait to continue to see you grow as a couple. Yep. We have laughed and cried, or well, usually it's me doing the crying, due to drugs. <laughs> I can't wait to make more great memories with you both. So please join me and Reese, pussy, in raising the glass to Sean and his new wife, Hope Pierce. <laughs> Just want to finish by saying, let's have the best night, everyone, and get this party started. Much love.